I believe the constant loss of Bermuda's unrenewable space is upsetting. The idea that all of these developments are happening means that when I grow up and come back to Bermuda, I'll be living in a concrete jungle. I don't want to be moving to somewhere like New York, where all you see is buildings. I want to come to Bermuda, the place where you see the trees and you see the grass. I just know that they're going to be building a road to where it is. You have to go under the hotel, and I don't really think that's a good idea. I think it's going to affect Bermuda in a bad way because with all the construction, so on and so forth, it's not good for the environment. And it's just going to cause chaos, I believe. It would boost the tourism in a way, but we got to look at the best rentals of Bermuda. The overpass, nah, I don't, that's got to go. I don't even see that in the, any plan that, you know, for all of us to drive underneath a massive great concrete overpass or underpass, I don't get it, going through a tunnel. It just, it's not opening up the, the place to any Bermudians at all. It's basically closing it off to all of us. So I don't, I don't agree with it, just plain and simple. If we take, keep taking away our natural beauty, then what are we going to have? Nothing but an industrial concrete jungle. And that's my opinion on it. Thank you. I, I feel that to build a hotel, okay, fine. But what's happened to all the old hotels? The one just down the street? Why can't they use that? I don't know. It's already developed. But hitting on the shoreline, I don't agree with that at all. I really don't. That's just my theory on that. Okay? Yeah, a hotel built on beachfront in this day and age, if we're talking about the environment and everything else, I mean, surely we could do a lot more green things than that. I mean, it's right jammed on the beach. We've got erosion issues. We got we know what the problems down Elba Beach, all the problems they had down there. Unbelievable erosion issues. Huge money involved for the developer, for the community. Um, there, there will be, I can't see any access for the locals. We're, we're not getting any more access to that property when it's built. Because once this hotel is built, it's going to be there for a, for a long time. And it's going to destroy a lot of the beauty in Bermuda, one of the last pieces of land in Bermuda. If our government is truly interested in us, we the people, right, then let us take that piece of land and make it a natural park. There are lessons to be learned from our story today. We have in place orderly processes of planning and development that have kept Bermuda from being overrun with construction that is alien or in poor taste or ill thought out. If Southlands is allowed to build their concrete and glass resort on our beachfront, we will throw centuries of wisdom out the window. The rapid expansion of the international business sector and its effect on housing costs and supply for locals has, hopefully, taught us to beware of ill-reasoned or too rapid expansion of the tourism industry. Don't be misled again. Given the existing strain on our labor force, new hotels can only be built and staffed with additional imported foreign workers. The message from our young people is clear. We must not sacrifice their future for the sake of lining our pockets today. We must build on already developed spaces or brownfields and preserve green field open space for our sanity. We must forego doing what might be good for arbitrary tourism numbers or good for our image or good for the developers or even good for our government. We must direct our attention to doing what is best for Bermuda and all its residents. <laughs>